Whether you're a skilled artist or maybe you're looking to learn, spring art classes are coming to the Phoenix Center of the Arts next month. This awesome. sounds fun. You know, uh, I think a creative outlet <laughs> sounds like a really great idea, especially if we can like mold something and then smash it and feel the clay in between our fingers and then build Ooh. it back up again. <laughs> Isn't that so 2020, 2021? <laughs> <laughs> so Maria is live at the Center for the Arts in downtown Phoenix to tell us about these classes. Maria, good morning. Good morning. So no smashing happening this okay, morning, right. Jamie, but okay. I'll let you know when they do have a class for that. So this isn't your paint and drink wine class, right? Where you can go to those workshops and you're able to paint the picture and then drink wine and eat some snacks. That's not that that's not what the case is here. We are at Phoenix Center of the Arts. If you know where the Pemberton is, if you know where Margaret T. Hans Park is, and if you know where Burton Bar Library is off of Third Street Monroe, you know how to find this place. It's this huge building. It looks like it used to be a church. They've actually been here for 40 years. You're watching some of the advanced art students using acrylic paint to come up with their own masterpieces. Now, this particular one that you're looking at, I'm told was not uh, something that was in a photo, but a lovely dinner that she had in Sedona with her husband and then just went ahead and juxtaposed a bunch of beautiful memories into one piece. How gorgeous is that? So right now you can register online for one of these art classes, but they don't start until March. So when we talk about the spring weather, it's a go it's gorgeous to be out here. This is my version. I'm supposed to, this is my assignment. Luckily, you don't get a grade, even though you have art classes. I'm supposed to try to figure this out. And granted, this is a crash course for 30 seconds. Edna, she's the one that leads the class. She's a well-known artist here in the Valley. And, and Edna, walk me through what skills you actually teach everybody. So they learn everything from drawing and painting to acrylic, difference between acrylic and oil. They will learn how to use perspective, how to apply paint in bold strokes, how to use some energy, how to uh, change into from acrylic into oil. We often do that because acrylic is water-based, oil is oil-based, and we do one on top of the other. And finally, how to take care of your materials, meaning cleaning of the brushes, which is very important. Okay, and why would someone want to do a class like this versus just kind of a paint by numbers or paint who is this class really for? The person who just wants to relax? The person who wants to create art for a business? Both. This is for serious hobbyists and for professionals. Uh, behind me are advanced students who have been painting for years. Uh, they are some of the artists who uh, have been showing all over the valley. So anyone can really take the class from beginner to advanced. how you guys have had to pivot during this pandemic. Uh, I know that you've been doing a lot of online classes, Renee, but sometimes it just doesn't translate, right? You've got class uh, through the computer and I, go, I don't know if I'm doing that right. So you guys have had to figure out a way to make this work during the pandemic. How'd you come up with outdoor classes? Well, we have such beautiful Arizona weather. We figured uh, we just had to take advantage of it. And um, outdoor painting is definitely something that we know people are interested in. And so we definitely wanted to give them something that they were going to want to do. They could get out, they could be in a safe environment and still be creative. Yes, cre creativity is something that it's a nice little outlet, right? Yes, it How is. How much for the classes? Um, it's about $40 a week. Um, we do have additional classes that are workshops that are just a few um, hours a day. And we have a lot of different options um, for different types of classes as well. Okay, so you have to go online to figure that out. What yes. other classes? You, Jamie wants to smash something. You have, <laughs> you have play? We do have ceramic classes in our studios. Those will also be starting the week of March 8th. And um, it's up to him. If he wants to smash stuff, he can smash stuff after he's made it. But okay. nobody else's. <laughs> okay, Jamie. Jamie Soretta, you, did you hear that? You can smash things if you want. Oh, yeah. You just have to go online and figure out what that <laughs> art class is. So, but again, this, oh. this one starts at... Uh, on March 8th uh -huh. from at 11 a.m. So uh, my piece, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I'd rather pay someone to put <laughs> art on my wall yeah. uh, and decorate my house than actually create it myself. Yeah. But I know that this is very therapeutic for some people and, right. and a nice little outlook.
I mean, it's just fun to do the things that we did as kids in art class and do it and we do them again. I don't think we have enough opportunities to do that anymore. So that really is a beautiful thing that they're doing. And the weather's perfect for yeah. painting outdoors. Thanks, I Maria. I love it. Perfect. Okay, I'll come paint. <laughs> I'll be there soon, Hedge. Stay there.